Buongiorno, welcome back to the Italian campaign. So, we are uh, fighting China, our battlecruiser squadron, over here in uh, Southeast Asia, did very well last month, sinking a very big um, Chinese task force. And yeah, even the Donzellas with their um, <clears throat> somewhat experimental Mark II 14-inch guns performed solidly. Uh, the DDs too, uh, except that one. Uh, they are kind of low on ammo. They don't get fully restocked in uh, in one month. So by next month, when they probably encounter some more Chinese ships, we're not going to be able to sink all of them. But we've found that our ships are f quite a bit faster than the enemy ships and have longer range. So the old uh, tactic of doing some damage while retreating and then getting out that should work now that's not all because one of our top diplomats oh let's see let's see what's uh what's his name lorenzo ferrari he's uh been to a um there's been a naval conference in rome uh, i was not personally there but our diplomat was there, and a new naval treaty has been signed. Uh, it's not too unfavorable to us. Uh, the other uh, nations involved are Britain, France, USA, and I think Germany too. So, what does this mean? Battleships and battlecruisers are now restricted to 15-inch guns. Um, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, battleship and battlecruiser displacement limit is 42,000 tons. That's okay, alright. None of our ships are that big yet. So, fine. Uh, the British really pushed to have heavy cruiser armament limited to 8 inches. Uh, that was... Um, that was a deal breaker for me. I wanted to push for at least 10, if not 11. 11 inches is still legal for supercruisers weighing over 17,000 tons. Whatever that exactly means. But we were able to find a compromise. Heavy cruisers are now limited to 9 inch guns and a displacement of 14,500 tons. Light cruisers limited to 10,000 tons and 6 inch guns. That's fine. That happens to be exactly what our new Scipion Africano class are weighing in at. <laughs> They're, they are one ton short of the limit and armed with 6 inch guns. Funny that. Uh, the Etna class. Let's, uh, let's jump into the shipbuilder and just take a look here. The Etna class is being built with 10 inch guns. They are uh, not breaking the displacement limit, but they, their guns are too big. So they are already under construction, so I'm guessing they will just have to be given a refit as soon as they are launched and rearmed with 9 inch guns. Uh, we have also the, uh, the Regina, they are armed with 9 inch guns. That's fine. The pace is armed with 11 inch guns. So we might have to do something there, or just pretend um, these are, I don't know, coastal, coastal battleships. These guys also got three of them under construction. Oh, let's see. There we go. The San Pietro class. They are over the displacement limit. They are not quite at the limit of super cruisers. So they are they they are at once too big and too small. So what we're gonna do is that oh we're just gonna say these are coastal battleships. A small coastal battleship going at twenty one knots, armed with eleven inch guns. Yeah, of course they are the uh, they are the battleships we uh, got from Austria Hungary, aren't they? That's that's the official story. 
of course we're just gonna have to um, try not to let them be seen together with the three actual battleships we got from Austria-Hungary but I think uh, hopefully no one should notice that these are not the same ships they look kinda similar to me and their guns are kinda similar actually no these were refit with 13 inch guns oh yeah no these are totally new battleships these are the Austrian battleships that's how it goes um, yeah don't uh, don't tell Britain now our small Austrian coastal battleships aside uh, I do intend to try and follow these um, limitations set by the Rome Naval Treaty of 1920 at least until I see other nations blatantly uh, breaking them then it's uh, all bets are off but that's, this is a new rule limiting um, what I can build and how I can build it well if our guns are uh, limited to 15 inches on the battleships and battlecruisers of course I want to set my researchers to uh, try and get as advanced 15 inch guns as possible in as short a time of, as possible so we're gonna we're gonna prioritize big guns for a bit at least as long as the naval treaty is in effect so we change one rule for another now with that said let's go to April and see if we get another battle with China oh China had a revolution. That does not mean the war is over though. They also fired their uh, admiral. And we have a battle. Two of these um, battlecruisers armed with 18 12.1 inch guns. And some heavy cruisers. We have not seen those before. 10.2 uh, inch guns but only two of them uh, 23 knot top speed quite a few of these and some of the Lishui uh, class light cruisers I saw the Chinese just uh, deleted the design so it did a log uh, which is yeah that makes sense these were quite terrible they didn't do anything so we're gonna see what kind of damage we can do and then get out because we don't have the ammunition to sink all of this stuff we can sink some of it and do some damage yeah the battle cruisers might be a threat let's see ammo uh, the 14 inch guns have plenty of ammo Perla and San Antonio, I want you uh, not being in the same division as the Negrona and Donzella. Let's see, Didis, you're all gonna form up. You have some of your torpedoes back. These triple launchers, yeah, you got six torpedoes. Six. You only got one. You got six. Zephyro. One torpedo. That's not really enough. I just want you to um, retreat. Are not going to be useful here. I can risk. Uh, I can risk my DDs taking damage to get a spread of six torpedoes away. Do not want to risk them taking damage to get one torpedo away. Grona and Donzella, you have a uh, 
cruising speed of 19 knots. Perla and San Antonio, 17. Save. And save. Let's see here. Negrona and Donzella. Where are the uh, battle cruisers? Here they are. Don't think we got a good look at them um, previously. Oh. Yeah, it's this kind of setup. At least I know these ships are not very good. And that must be their uh, heavy cruiser. So we're going to have the 13-inch uh, guns focus the heavy cruisers, the uh, 14s, the battle cruisers. Seventeen point three. In fact, you can just follow. It is daylight, so my DDs are uh, being spotted. Are we in torpedo range yet? Not really. Blasting these uh, DDs. There we go. We have torpedo range. Almost. And torpedoes should now be in the water. Once the torpedoes are launched, yeah, there we go. All torpedoes are launched. You can now focus the DDs. All of you. Lampo might not make it. That torpedo boat gonna eat a torpedo? No? Yes. What's a different torpedo? What's a DD, not a torpedo boat, actually. Just not identified yet. Yeah, Lampo is probably not going to survive this. Dead torpedo off. Maybe? Maybe she's going to get away? Another dead torpedo. There we go. Two real torpedoes. Uh, Lampo goes down. But yeah, the torpedoes, not terrible, did something. Oh, uh, Donzella, like so, Perla, San Antonio. Do these um, 
Yeah, they do have torpedoes. Nine kilometers, almost. That's very decent armor, actually, on those heavy cruisers. That's thicker main belt than the battle cruisers. Well, the main deck is kind of lacking, though. Okay, you're gonna kill these uh, light cruisers first. Those are some very heavily armored... Uh, Very heavily armored cruisers. Well, the main deck is, yeah, main deck is lacking. Four and a half belts, pretty thick. Aft deck, yeah. I would have put more armor on the main deck, less on the uh, extended decks, but that's just me. You guys are gonna go with. Oh, San Antonio, you're taking damage. Well, you took some damage last battle, that's probably most of it. And this light cruiser is not loving his life. One each. Yeah, San Antonio, you're gonna... Um, you're gonna retreat from this battle. dead. That battle cruiser is almost dead. Oh, we actually get torpedoes coming in. Try and avoid those secondaries on the DDs, please. the torpedo. Secondary guns are doing uh, quite well. Defending against the DDs. There we go. DD is dead. Another DD is dead. Yeah. Four inch guns. Uh, Four point two inch guns on my battle cruisers. Amazingly effective. San Antonio, come on. Need you to uh, survive this. So you can get repaired. Grona and Donzella both focus the, uh, the battle cruiser. Perla. Let's see, down to 19 again.
Perla. That's the closest. San Antonio. Yeah, you still got ammo left. You ain't dead yet. You're still in the fight. Auto. You don't have a good uh, AP angle. There we go. Floating heads. Nineteen kilometers. Yeah, I got more than enough pen. Actually, let's change um, change it up here. Seeing as the cruisers, the heavy cruisers, have more armor than the battle cruiser. Let's put the 13-inch guns to work on the battle cruiser. And the 14s on the heavies. Shan. One more volley on this guy, and actually, no, sink it first, then you can switch. What was it, 17.3? Max cruising speed. Blocked. We should have enough pen. Theoretically. Yeah, the Donzellas have... Um, more than enough ammo. There we go, flooding hit on the battle cruiser. Yeah, you can just fire off the rest of your ammo while running away. Another pretty big hit on that battle cruiser. That was a uh, 13 inch on Tangshan. And one more. And that's. Both battle cruisers killed. Well, this is uh, going better than expected. Okay, we're gonna turn back now. And shield. San Antonio with our healthy healthy uh, ships. Perla, you're just gonna zoom away at full speed, blasting off what you have left of 13 inch uh, HE shells. Because you're almost bingo Winchester. gonna take on these two. We're actually gonna go in for the kill. I think they're uh, let's see, 20 inch torpedoes. It's probably the scariest armament they have. So they only have um, the 10 inch guns only have two of them. Why 
you firing HC now? I think AP would be very effective. You're firing AP, you got the right idea. Except you don't have a good angle. There we go. That's how you do it. Oh yes, I am aware we are sailing into uh, a bit of a crossfire here. I want to take out these two. They're kind of isolated flooding hits. Just as I was saying, their 10 inch guns are not that um, threatening. They go and penetrate my battle cruiser. There, you take that. Take that flooding hit and stick it. They have uh, yeah, many bulkheads, spacious quarters. There's one left of this group. And Negrona and Donzella actually still have plenty of ammo left. Yeah, I'm thinking these... Um, this is quite the winning design for a battle cruiser. Uh, at least when it comes to uh, killing these uh, rather inexpensive Chinese ships, are not that really. Uh, <laughs> impressive as far as opponents go. Certainly the Austrians were uh, tougher to deal with. Uh, you choose your own ammo. You're just one flooding hit away from dying. Please make it so. made it so. Was that an already flooded section? I think it was. So you're not quite dead yet, but you're gonna be. Hopefully soon. If Donzella can land some hits. And Grona has done amazing. And we're scoring big penetrating hits, but no more flooding. already flooded. Speaking of flooding, Negrona has uh, had her aft belt penetrated. Uh, yeah, you're kind of flooding. enough. You have a better angle, you can switch to that, you can uh, switch to that. There we go, that's what I was after. 
all my other ships got away. That's very good. And more flooding on Chao Yong. Which is also gonna die. I didn't think we were gonna be able to sink all of the Chinese ships, but so far it's almost looking like that might be possible. Yeah, the remaining cruisers are all quite damaged. Oh, let's get the... Uh, thumbnail mm, yes Eight damage. Wow, good job. That was an overpen on the main tower. There we go. Give me those flooding hits. Another overpen on the main tower. You consider maybe uh, scoring some belt penetrations? You have more than enough pen on those. Um, 14 inch guns firing heavy shells. See? Donzella does it. Now, I do want you to stick to AP, please. At least for now. There we go. That's how you do it. See? Doesn't that work better, Negrona? And just a little more should do it. Flash fire. Okay. Maybe that will be the uh, thumbnail. Can I see my own ships in the distance here? Yeah, there they are. Uh, just too far away. But the sunset is pretty though. Yeah. And more flash fires. This thing is popping off. I'm going down. Don't sell a lie you on next. for to get a little bit closer.
can easily get a little bit closer than this. You're almost in 4.2 inch range. Yeah, you are. There we go. You are dead. We're both focusing the Lyu on now. Okay, Negrona, you're gonna take the other one. Even though the angle is a little bit worse, but Donzella had the Lyu on first. Your damage and stability is almost down. Guns are opening up. Now go to AP. We're already firing AP Negrona. That's uh, that's good. There we go. That's a uh, that's a solid hit. Okay. Queen High, last Chinese ship remaining. Makes things easy as far as target priority goes. Not even the AI can muck this up. Before I to pick up acid, I'm surprised we only got that one ship to die from flash fires. There we go, that's a kill shot on Queen High. Alright, I didn't expect to be able to kill all of them, but Negrona and Perla had, um, uh, Negrona and Donzella, I mean, had just enough ammo to do it. That's another 100, 106,000 victory points. Uh, we lost a DD. That's, uh, I, I think that's acceptable. It did score two torpedo hits, so it didn't die in vain. Let's see, Damo, um, Negrona and Donzella did the most, but they also had the most ammo. San Antonio took quite a bit of damage, but she got out alive. Perla um, did some damage, didn't take much. Uh, the DDs did actually pretty well. Angela Bassini did 20,000 damage, scoring two torpedo hits. Alessandro Piero scored also two torpedo hits. Uh, Zephyr was out of torpedoes from the get-go, so she just went home. Yeah, it's quite the victory point um, score. Are we gonna keep fighting the, uh, the Chinese? What do they have left? Got some battleships here, cruiser there. I'm gonna send. Um, let's see, do I have a decent sized port here? Not really. But I can freely go through the uh, the Zuez. So, they're gonna go home to Gaeta. And they will be replaced on station. 
by Famo and San Filippo La Reale. Along with uh, some of these ships. We're going to add the battleships to that mix. I think we are. And we already have, uh, let's see, going to add crew to them first. I do have some DDs already in uh, in Sumatra. Yeah, here in Patang. In fact, let's just move these uh, straight into here. To link up. What's this uh, costing me quite a bit of money? Uh, these are veteran ships, but they're just not that good, so we're going to low crew them. And set them to uh, in being. Arpad, you're also uh, in being. I'm gonna save money where I can, right? These guys also low crew, low crew. Uh, the Patang ships need to be ready. There we go, in being. Probably didn't make a huge difference, considering my most expensive ships are um, out and about. It made a little difference. Now let's go to uh, let's go to May and see what happens. Natural oil discovered in Ukraine. Another Chinese admiral um, replaced. France is conquering northern Africa, which is fine by me, actually, because then when we do get to um, fight France later on in the campaign, which is the plan, it should be easier to take um, a strip of northern Africa from them, either directly through invasions or as war operations. These guys are heading home. These guys are heading to Patang. Everything is going according to plan. It'll be fun to try my uh, my Austrian battleships. Also, let's see. The big guns are. Uh, being researched quite a bit faster now that they are uh, prioritized. But I'm still behind a lot of the uh, AI nations. I saw Britain got Mark for 18 inch guns a couple months ago. So maybe, um, maybe they are prioritizing big guns? June. Empire of Japan is liking me. Uh, Fujian is attacking uh, Bari. Okay, and they got a cruiser here. Sank one of my transports. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, China. Wow, Etna and Vesuvius are being commissioned only two months away now. Uh, these guys are um, now being repaired. Arpad, you're up. Single battleship versus single heavy cruiser. Should be a fair fight. There we go. Let's go out and meet the Chinese. And you guys too. Now, let's get some battles. War continues with China. And I just saw Russia launch an invasion on what I was going to wanting to invade. Here we go. That's a uh, pretty sizable battle. Two Tianpei class battleships. Another of these battle cruisers. A um, Heilongjiang class heavy cruiser. These got four 10.1 inch guns. They're slower though and much cheaper. And the Lishui class light cruiser. This should um, this should be a win. Actually, yeah, let's do this. All right, let's get stuff organized. These are my battleships. Are the battlecruisers just going to follow the battleships? Yeah, probably. Let's bump them down to 19 knots, which is the cruise speed of the battleships. And heavy cruisers just follow the battlecruisers. DDs are already um, formed up. This time my ships have more than enough ammo. What are you guys doing? Nineteen knots, guys. Nineteen knots. Except you guys who need to catch up. Are these the uh, the battle cruiser or the battleship? Well, that's something else. These are the battleships, yeah. But they're hidden in the smoke. Mm, 
cruisers have spotted um, some enemies. I think the heavy cruisers here will be quite effective. Just gonna let them fire at will. I was about to say let them fire at will, but no, we're gonna be a little bit more careful than that with our target selection. So, okay, if we can get these DDs formed up properly, I'm gonna attempt to cross the T of this uh, column, launch a bunch of uh, torpedoes at them. is actually taking a pretty solid hit. Yeah, these guys are not that well armored. Okay, please behave now, DDs. I need you guys to work. Not fail. Point four kilometer torpedo range. And we are in range. Thong. Tianpei. Uh, also Tianpei. And you guy. Let's see smoke. Torpedoes are going out. Torpedoes have gone out. Okay, all of you detach. And just go home. In fact, all of you retreat. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I didn't turn off the avoid thing on all of you. Our torpedo is going to hit something. I'm trying to have these guys retreat without bunching up too much. Like that. Carabinere just took a hit that was probably aimed at someone else. Here we go. Torpedoes. Lots of torpedo hits on the battleships. Very, very nice. Very nice. Now let's uh, focus on our own battle line. Uh, one battleship down.
And the other one is uh, not doing too hot. Something sank. Don't know what it was. We did not lose any of our DDs doing that. Big hits on Andong. It's kind of important because they've uh, gone into torpedo range. I wasn't even watching. I was uh, playing with my own torpedoes. Uh, okay, Maurice, you're not doing too hot. You're actually gonna detach. What hit you? What hit you so badly? 11 inch hits. Oh, that's gotta be from, uh, yeah, the battle cruiser, Dalian. Yeah, I think Varese is, um, maybe not gonna survive this. Both my battle cruisers target the enemy battle cruiser. Battleships, why are you not sinking this guy? Sink that guy. You're gonna do it with the AP, please. What kind of uh, four belt armor did you have? Not that thick. Yeah, most of this stuff can be penned quite easily. These are um, not as thick skinned as the heavy cruisers in the previous battle. Yeah, that's the end of Varese. the end of a race. It's okay, she was uh, non-treaty compliant anyway. I'm gonna make sure this hurts more for uh, the enemy than for us. There we go, flash fires on Dalian. Even with 2 powder 1, TNT 2. You done got blued up. Fourteen inch to the knee. Yeah, Dalian is gonna go down. Dalian went down. Now we can split some fire. With these guys, Victoria, are your eleven inch guns? Uh, thirteen inch. Sorry, needed to kill some light cruisers. So far, loss of one quite obsolete heavy cruiser aside, things are going quite well. I think it was actually the. Um, might have been the battleship. Yeah, it was the battleship. That's the one with 11 inch guns. That's the one that sank this guy. No? No, it was, uh, it was the battle cruiser and heavy cruisers. I was wrong. The battleship didn't do squat. You 
might uh, retreat now to pace. Ships going down, ships going down. Let's sink the um, Suyon. Flash fires. Very nice. Lots of flash fires. Seven, eight. Nothing left of you. What kind of explodium are you made of? Ballastite and dunite. Chinese fireworks. That's the episode title. Good. If only I remember it when I actually upload it. Uh, Fama. I need to focus the same light cruiser as your sister. If we're going for a uh, navy built on speed, I'm sure not using it that much. I'm pretty much plodding around at uh, cruise speed. But the time for speed will come. There you go. You're dead. Okay, both battle cruisers just. Focus that battleship. Because you got the big 14s. Actually, San Pietro got the big 14s too. You actually have 7 inch, tra uh, 7 kilometer torpedo range. Are you a different class? Okay, no one was focusing you with their uh, main guns. Until now. Please sink. That should do it. Now, oh, Vittoria, you may pick another um, light cruiser to bully. This poor battleship. Yeah, we're actually uh, scoring some good penetrations on it. At a range of uh, 12 kilometers. These poor light cruisers just getting demolished. Yeah, that's the second huge Chinese task force just wiped out in this episode along with the uh, another one in the previous episode and this is certainly uh, a lot less frustrating than um, <laughs> fighting the Austrians who just wouldn't die Tian Pei, you're one flooding hit away from sinking. Actually, yeah, we're just gonna take care of these uh, light cruisers first. One on each, please. Uh, 
San Pietro, you can keep focusing the battleship. Secondary is coming in. Big 14 inch shells just going lengthwise through the entire cruiser. Lishui <laughs> down. Killing. Uh, also down. <laughs> Flash fires. Are you also made of explodium? Cordite 2, TNT 2. Almost. Xian Yang trying to shield the battleship with her hull. I'm just gonna let my ships pick their own targets now. There's not that much to choose from. Definitely not now. Tianpei. Poor Tianpei. Or at one pick of acid, you haven't exploded yet. And there's still time. Still time to go boom. Cruisers in to get better angles. We don't need to play cautious now. now. I've said that before and it hasn't worked out, but this time I'm pretty confident. Here we go. Good penetration. Main belt pen for 3000 damage. And more. more belt pens. And she's gone. All right, that was another 87,000 victory points for the loss of one old heavy cruiser. Mm, not bad, not bad. Not bad, I say. Yeah, pretty big damage numbers too. Which is al always um, satisfying. Yeah, no, Dalian did the uh, did the most damage. She's the one who killed the Varis. You also did quite a bunch. Mm, but to what? To one of my ships? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, that battle is done. Now, do China have anything that they can actually give me? I don't think so. I think all of this counts as um, mainland China, so they can't give it up. And I don't think I want their ships. Do they have any money? behind on technology naval funds they got two billion that should be enough yeah Russia is gonna take um, Slovenia gosh darn it why can't my army take Slovenia instead of uh, trying to fight the Central Balkans which actually has an army defending it can we take Bosnia Herzegovina Her Herzegovina or Croatia or Austria well where did that um, Chinese cruiser go oh, you're heading back well fine 
our pod go back to Naples. And that is, I think, the end of this um, this episode. There might be another uh, little time skip if I, at the uh, the start of the next episode, get offered a peace treaty from China. I think I'm gonna take it, unless we get another nice fun battle to play. Uh, just because, yeah, there's not really anything China has that I want. What they had was uh, Sumatra, and I got it, so that's that. Um, is it possible to invade southern China? Two hundred thousand tons only? It is possible. I don't have the tonnage to get it up to 100%, but it is possible. Not sure if I want it though. Anyway, that's the end of the episode. Goodbye, and take care.